Hi guys and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder, Ramsdale Bates in 87. Today we are doing the Best Possible Serie A. I never did it at the end of Team of the Season, but because I never were able to include some international mana match players as well. So if you guys do want some MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. Get stocked up, ready for FIFA 17. If you're trying to smash over 5,000 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. And guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed already to myself uh, as we do do a lot of these uh, squads and you guys seem to really enjoy them. If you want to see any more I've done, I know a lot of people have been asking for the best possible Australian team, which I will try to do in the next couple of weeks, but um, we are going to stick to doing the big ones, which I've not done, and uh, getting them out of the way. So in the goalkeeper position, guys, we do go over high-rated goalkeeper, which I think is just his team of season card, because he does have an international man match as well. It is a 93-rated booth on jumping straight on into the team. Uh, I think game faces are messed up as well, because none of them have got our dynamic images, which are bit frustrating and this team is actually a full special card team as well which is very rare to get hold of recently in the uh, center back position on the left hand side guys we do go with Barzagli the 90 rated uh, center back on the right hand side we do go with his partner in crime which is Chiellini the uh, international man match team of the tournament version uh, which jumps on in there and in the middle we go with a 92 rated Miranda for Brazil and Inter Milan absolutely solid solid defense really enjoyable and uh, it is quite a Attacking, like jumps forward quite a lot, but thankfully he got the pace on every single one of these players. Over 80 on all three. In the centre midfield position, we do go with a team of the year, Pogba. Still up in the air whether he's going to be a Manchester United player by the start of the season, but he is uh, obviously going to be in here anyway because he has got a 93 rated team of the year. On the right hand side, we do have Pjanic as well. Has got a Juventus card as you guys do know, but um, obviously his Roma card was his team of the season, 91 rated. In the right midfield, we go with a player who's now signed a full contract and uh, he's not a lone player at Roma no more he's now actually a proper um proper one, not a low knee, is actually a full transfer and then in the left midfield position we've got a player who is wasted in the left midfield position guys, and it is 95 paced 90 rated uh, Insigne from Napoli, absolutely awesome card, I can't I can't imagine what this team, like the Serie A is going to have loads of stat players in it next uh, next FIFA and I can't wait to use a lot of them in the cam position we go with the Totti, 92 rated hero card um, hero, like, t I don't even know what you call these, like international man match hero legend cards or something, um, but it is a 92 rated cam if you guys can't afford him you have got the 90 rated hamstick as well a lot of big players missing out on this team in the um in the strike positions this is where it gets good this is a ridiculous strike partnership as well and uh, in fifa next year it's going to be a perfect link first one 95 rated higuain absolutely sick and then finishing it off guys we do go with the dybala card uh, which also a 91 rated team a season every player apart from apart from salah is over 90 rated which is insane and uh, it is a 191 rated team as well uh, but I think I am missing some of the high rated players uh, in there where I probably could get it to a 192 but that in front of you guys is the best possible um Best possible Serie A team, absolutely awesome team. Really enjoy playing with it. Like it's really attacking, but it's fun to use, especially at this stage of FIFA 16. So if you guys have played with a lot of these players, which I presume a lot of you will, because a lot of them are team of seasons, let me know what you think of it. Um, also this Totti card as well. Uh, five games, three goals, absolutely sick. Um, like nine games, seven goals of Higuain and Dybala. 14 games, 17 goals. Salah, uh, five games, one goal, two assist. And Insigne has got nine goals, one assist. I really wish he was in the left forward position I reckon he's absolutely dirty so guys leave a like create a video subscribe if you're not and let's go and get into the highlights we did manage to get with the best possible Serie A team so guys with the Serie A team always going to be strong always going to be defensively wide open and that is only because of the fact that you have players uh, which work rates all over the shop it's at three at the back as well it's a little bit disappointing but I like playing three at the back because of the fact it does give me a lot more super players in the midfield and you guys have seen them all Pogba Pjanic and also Totti in the midfield Field. on the wings Insigne and also Salah and then the striker the striker partnership guys is absolutely ridiculous with Higuain and Dybala both of them are two of the best strikers in the game not just with rating um but also with the play style, like Dybala, really, really love playing with him just because he's so nippy and got a brilliant shot on him as well. Um, Higuain, a brief example of his finishing inside the area and strength and dribbling as well. Uh, Pogba, you've got a decent long shot on him and, and power drive through his way through defenders. Um, Pjanic, I mainly use as that playmaker style player. Um, and Totti, got a decent long shot, got a really good free kicks as well, but his dribbling is pretty tidy and sweet as well. Um, but he does miss the target a few times, which was pretty frustrating when I was using the team. 
More into the defence though. Defence was a little bit frustrating, like I said, with the uh, different work rates causing a lot of trouble. Um, but it was one of them things where you got to deal with it and just try and score more goals than your opponent does, which we did. With Dybala, got a free kick on him as well. No idea. I didn't expect this one to go in, but it did. Um, terrible goalkeeping. And Buffon as well. Actually, in the games we did play with Buffon, Buffon let in some absolute horrible, horrible goals, which definitely shouldn't have been goals. It was frustrating, but one of them things. That finish from Higuain was absolutely brilliant. And let me know, guys, whether you picked up the uh, team of season Higuain, or you've just picked up the Juventus version, because I reckon it's very good for the uh, hyperlink style of play, uh, which a lot of people do want to do, where they only want to use a few players from each league, and then have the rest of the teams... Um, players from other leagues and other teams but the team itself guys really really enjoyable a lot of standout play i would recommend every single one of these players even the defenders if they're at the uh, four at the back miranda is very good keelini is good and so is Barzagli. I would recommend Insigne if he was in the left wing, left forward position. And uh, the same for Salah in the in the right wing, right forward position as well. But the absolutely awesome team, guys. It shows it's high rated. Only one player in the starting eleven who is under uh, under 90 rated, which is absolutely insane. Uh, but an absolutely solid team. Really, really enjoy playing with it. And if you guys do want to see any more best possibles done in the future comment section guys comment sections for you to put in video ideas and everything else like that so feel free to get commenting guys and uh, also let me know your thoughts on these players if you have used them so until next time guys see you all later have a very very nice rest of your day leave a like rate and subscribe if you're not and uh, i'll catch you all again later